Thank you, Brewerviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Today we have a very interesting product that we've been sent, uh, courtesy of the fellows at Krups. This is the Sub. It is a, uh, it's a countertop mini keg pouring machine. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's interesting. Uh, mostly it's just interesting. Yeah. Uh, it is, it accepts cartridges of beer, which they provide with a monthly subscription service. And, uh, you load it kind of like a torpedo into a sub, which is why these are called torpedoes. Torps and for short. That is called a sub. Yeah. Torps, if you don't like saying entire words. So they if call you call them, your pizza za, you will love calling these torps. Yeah, these are torps. They call them torps on their website. True. Uh, and then this is the sub. Yeah, it lo it lo it's pretty cool. So these are 64-ish. Um, between 64 and 67 ounces. They're almost two liters. Um, yeah, so they're completely opaque, which is important for mm -hmm. beer. Mm -hmm. um, so they hold the beer. It, I believe there's a bladder inside here. Yep. Um, it's got a little bung hole in the bottom there where it pressure puts. I'm uh, pretty sure that's where the diaphragm gets its, yeah. gets its pressure and from. And it forces the beer out of the tanner. This mm -hmm. is refrigerated, so. Yes, it is. So the instructions state that before you load this up, you stick these in the fridge to get them cool mm -hmm. um, for a few hours, then you pop them in here. Super simple setup. All you do is pop it in the machine just like you would load a torpedo, just slides in there, and all you do is hook this little spout right up to the end of this nozzle. It's super, super easy. It took me all three seconds. Um, cost of these aren't too bad. Um, they range like $199-ish yep. for the device. I saw um, one at Bed Bath & Beyond for $179. Now the nice, it wasn't yeah. too terrible. The nice thing is... Um, Hopsy has given, given us a promo code. They have. Um, so you can get these for $99 with two yes, beers and have. two glasses, um, which is cool. Now, this isn't a paid promotion or anything. They sent this for review purposes, but mm -hmm. they did set us up with promo codes. They did give us our very own website and on their web page. We are going to give an honest, our honest opinion on this device, as honest we as we can. Um, so right now, there is a, a craft brew from the uh, Bronx, New York mm -hmm. in here. Uh, it's from the Gun Hill Brewery. And that's what yep. we're drinking we've these got, We've also got the Hopsy Mosaic and Amarello Indian IPA. Uh, and what I, I one thing I do like about this is they've got the stats. Alcohol. They've got yeah. stats on the bottle, which is we've always enjoyed stats on the bottle. So uh, um, as far as the device goes, the device is great, but we're rating the packages as well. So mm -hmm, this is mm -hmm. proprietary. So these are proprietary to this. This is the only thing yes, they that are. will work in these. Um, now, I know in European countries that these are pretty readily available at a lot of mm -hmm. uh, grocery and liquor stores, but in the United States, um, you, the only way to get these is through subscription You service. can't find those just at Walmart. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have to order it from the company, and they will send it to you. So it's a, it's a monthly, it's like a monthly club. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, hops, you, you know, they send you... What, like BarkBox? Yeah, like a BarkBox <laughs> or a Loot Crate. So they send you uh, so many beers a month, depending on what package you get. Yep. Um, now, we didn't mention this, how long these things last. So, <laughs> they'll last 30 days, they'll last 30 days not open. <laughs> so when they're sealed from when you get them, the 30 yep. days good. Once you tap them, um, they're good <coughs> for about 15 days. So four pints in 15 days is plenty. For me, I would drink maybe a couple pints a week. Yeah. So that, that's more than enough time for me to finish uh, a whole container. So that's pretty good, 15 days is pretty good. If you consider how long you get out of a growler, once you open a growler, um, you have two hours to drink it before it goes flat. Hey, yeah. Um, or, you know, growler's only good for three or four days in the refrigerator. Um, but there's also pressurized growlers, and this is pressurized growlers will last about as long as this. This is very similar to a pressurized growler, but instead of having a little CO2 cartridge attached, it's got a, it's got a diaphragm in the bottom of the bottle that slowly pushes the beer forward. Which makes sense. I can understand why they would do that. You don't have to mess with any CO2 cartridges. All you have to have is a small air compressor that pushes everything forward because liquid is not compressible. So everyone yeah. likes that. So with with the discount code, these are pretty affordable. I think they're the right price. They look sharp. They look really good on my counter. You saw it on my counter in there. Mm -hmm. It looked awesome. My wife wasn't happy about it, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I liked it. Um, yeah. So yeah, the beer though, the beers they just go to random craft breweries. The two beers we have here are both from New York. I, mean, mm -hmm. I don't know if they. They do kind of like every month they'll do different beers or you can pick something you like. Well, they have different subscriptions for different kinds of beer. They have a, they have a craft beer type thing. Uh, they have, they have I think, three different subscriptions for three different styles. You want to go ahead and talk about the subscriptions? Uh, well, yeah. The, uh, the, the first one is a volume type deal. 
you get uh, six mini kegs every four weeks, six mini kegs every every six weeks, and four mini kegs every six weeks. So you can slowly travel down the slope of how much beer do you drink? Uh, and they're they're all before uh, before any kind of a discount type deal. They're all fourteen ninety nine for a for a a mini keg, which is. It's per. It's yeah. not bad. It's about the size of a growler. A growler is going to cost you like ten, between ten and well, you can you can honestly have no top end actually for a growler. You yeah, could, they range from anywhere from eight to fifty dollars. Yeah, maybe growler. somebody brews a beer made out of pure gold. I don't know. But and this is draft beer. It's not just yeah a fancy can vessel. So so you you do get to choose what uh, what volume you're going to be drinking. Are you a one after work kind of guy or what? Now on the uh, on the page that they have sent us, uh, you can or it's sort of a an introductory type thing. Yeah. Uh, you can get the sub, which is the big black thing, uh, and they have two hundred and thirty nine ninety nine crossed out, and instead ninety nine thirty nine in red, which is the actual price. So that's a fairly decent. And you get uh, two, price glasses, two glasses and two That's right. beer. It says the sub home tap, which is that thing, two of our most popular mini kegs, which is this thing, and two hopsy glasses, which are these things. They come unfilled for your convenience. Um, the glasses do, that is. So the prices are not bad. As they, far as getting a, a, a growler once a week, which is essentially what you're buying, or once every two weeks, which is essentially what you're buying with uh, with the promo code. That's not too bad. That's like a that's like a mid range growler fill. Yeah, uh, my only thing is because it's so it's so proprietary. Um, it's very proprietary. Uh, you know, if this company were to go out of business and you have one of these devices, mm -hmm. um, your SOL because they don't have currently they don't have like fill your own. Yeah. It would be nice if they sold like a metal version of this that was fill your own. Growler. That's true. So you can hook it up and you're ready to go. But at the same time, if these were not proprietary, if these were like a universal fill type device, if they had a, a strange little bung on the side or something, I'm pretty sure that would cost like $300. Yeah. Because what you're buying with this is the subscription. You want, you, I, no one's going to buy just this thing and two growler fills because that's space on your counter, and then two growler fills. Um, I find it a little on the pricey side for these, but you're paying for convenience. So like if you go to growler fill, not only do you have to find a place that fill growlers, which in Kentucky, eh, with the exception of going directly yeah, to a brewery. It depends on where you go. You have to go directly to a brewery, and we have probably four in Louisville. They're all very far away. Yeah. Um, and well, Country Boy is the best one. You can it, some, it depends on what liquor store you go to. Some liquor stores they do know how to fill a growler and some don't. Yes, but like Liquor Barn is our main source of yeah. growlers and they yeah. charge the Fern Valley one no longer does growler fills anymore. They don't? And they were the only one that was reasonably priced. All right. The one on our loop charges $27 to fill a growler. Mm, yeah, it's, it's not cheap. Theme. So yeah, I mean, eh. I like the device. I don't like the fact that it's proprietary. Uh, the monthly beer service is awesome if you can get beer. Now, keep in mind there are some states that do not allow that's the shipping true. of alcohol, which that's a factor. Um, but overall, I think it's cool. Um, and I would be into it if you're a big beer guy. Mm -hmm. So if you're a big beer guy, you like if you're busy, like if you're busy, you work full-time jobs, you don't have time to go out and deal with growlers. Yeah. Um, this is great for that if you have the extra scratch to pay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate this a 7.5 overall. Yeah. Uh, it's no question that this is quality. Like, that's, a cool, no question, that's a cool device. There's no question that this device is quality and it works really well. Um, my only thing is it's got this proprietary unit of beer, which is cool in itself. It's cool to get craft beer from, from states that we would normally not be able to get craft beer. Like right now we have two New York beers that we would probably never yeah. ever be able to get a hold of. We would have to contact someone in New York and have them send it to us. It would be um, – we'd have to ring around for a while to get something like this So Yeah, so my normally. point is – my points are availability and cost are what I'm taking off for this. So this is availability sure. and cost. Would I recommend it? Um, only, again, if you're one of those people that are busy and don't have time or you have an issue filling growler. If you have an issue getting growler fills, this is perfect for you. Yeah. This is absolutely perfect for you. But if you have 
craft breweries nearby and you have that availability to be able to fill growlers anytime, um, then you might want to consider like a pressurized growler or something like that. Though you are buying CO2 cartridges and stuff with that. Yeah. Um, so it probably in the long run probably costs you about the same. Um, so what do you think, Radar? Um, I think I give this a seven and a half. It's a good device. I was surprised that it actually keeps beer cold on the counter. Mm -hmm. It does a good job. Uh, I did not think it would do that because it's got a thermoelectric cooler inside of it instead of a compressor. Like it does have an air compressor to fill the diaphragm, but a, a, a refrigeration compressor. I didn't think it would keep beer cold. I, I especially didn't think it would keep beer cold for a week. Like <laughs> I, I just didn't see that in the cards. Um, it just, looking at the specs in the instruction manual, it seems like something is almost too good to be true. Like, you plug a cartridge of beer in, push the on button and let it go. Mm, no, I mean, it was that easy. Uh, when I hooked it up, it was within, if it was chilled, it was within five minutes, it was ready to go. Crest was filled, pulled my beer, uh -huh. it was easy, had me a pint, sit there and enjoy it. I'm like, man, this thing is cool. But then I instantly thought, Man, these are so hard to get, and they're expensive. Yeah. So, um, I wish that these bottles were twelve bucks, not proprietary, or slightly cheaper. I understand why it happened this way. I like the I like the setup they've got. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense, in fact, enough that if we could get these readily, twelve bucks. If they were twelve bucks, oh man, and I had and I could choose what style of beer I could get, I'd be all about it. I'd be I'd be getting one of these once a week. I could go through one of these in a week. Easy. I mean, four pints is perfect. That's perfect. Easily I could go through one of these in a week. That, I can go through like one and a half of these a week. Yeah, because if you went through two, then you'd be an alcoholic. But one is that perfect. <laughs> yeah. One is that perfect number one week. <laughs> it's true. I like this device. This is a cool device. Um, I, I do wish that it was more readily available, and that's that's up to uh, the state legislatures, honestly. But uh, something they can, the company that, can that is that is not something that they can control. The only thing they can really control is the price, and I think the price is right, just about where I want it to be. So seven and a half is a very good score for me. That's exactly what I like to see in a product like this, uh, and it's just it's got a cool gadgety feel to me. Uh, yeah, I mean I've I've been so me personally I've been looking for I want a kegerator in my house. I really do. Um, so the problem with that is you're going to pay for a pre-made one you're paying five six hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, for a tap kit you're paying two hundred plus the cost of the keg, uh, and then you got to deal with um, the keg. So you're dealing with a, a one fifth, one sixth pony, whatever size keg you're going to get. You're not. You got to deal I'm with CO2 charging. Yes. You got to deal with so many uh, little. I'm not going to things. So and I've been thinking about the keg grader, but this like when I got this I was like man this solves all those problems with mm -hmm. me not having to go out and get a kegerator and then I won't have to worry about wasting a, a pony keg if a I don't half if I don't, of a keg yeah, yeah it's like so I don't know when you guys are going to come over and we're going to hang out with this everybody can get a pint but like I said if I've got if I'm having a party though and I've got all you guys over here yeah. and I gotta have like eight of these or you can just yeah, you're get talking, a couple of these chuck them in the refrigerator and wait mm -hmm. because they're not going to go bad until you 30, until you start to tap 30 them. days 30 days. 30 days. So that gives you a little bit of a lead time. But it's draft, it's draft, so it's not past draft, so that's all you that's can do. That's very true. All right, well, if you like these kind of videos, let us know in the description down below. We'd love to do more. Uh, that's been our episode. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks and for thanks watching. thanks for watching.